you. Now let's take a live look at what's going on on the east side of town. I-44, I-244 split on the east part of Tulsa. As you can see, traffic moving away from us is going westbound into Tulsa, coming from Catoosa into the Tulsa proper area on the east side. Heavy traffic there as they hit that construction zone, folks. Expect delays. Also, looking at Highway 75 now, northbound into downtown. A pretty good drive for you into the downtown loop. And a little bit earlier, we had some folks make a special request. I know a lot of people said that if their candidate lost the election, they'd be moving to Canada. Not sure why, but that was some of the folks' promises out there. So let me give you the quickest and directest route to Canada from Tulsa. You'd leave out of Tulsa here. You take Highway 75 northbound, okay, 75 northbound up through Kansas, past Kansas City. When you get into Omaha, watch for that junction for Interstate 29, because then you want to take I-29 out of Omaha, Nebraska, right here. You want to take Interstate 29. That'll get you up through Sioux Falls, South Dakota, then up into North Dakota, and literally I-29 will go to the Canadian border. Now, they're laughing at me. Now, when you get to Canada, this is serious stuff. When you get to Canada, you're going to hit the, the border here. Make sure you've got your, either your card or your passport, okay, to get into Canada now. Then you're going to get back on what is known as Highway 75 in Canada, or it's actually the Lord Selkin Highway. If you move into Canada, you're going to need to know this. Lord Selkin Highway, okay? So you take the Lord Selkin Highway up into Winnipeg. They do not have a hockey team. Yeah, they do. They've got the Jets again in Winnipeg, so you can get, go watch some hockey if the NHL ever decides to play again. So that's your route to Canada. All right, we'll have more for you coming up in just a bit. Okay. Be Thanks, sure to take Jeff. your Gore-Tex up there with you, you know? <laughs> nice. <laughs>